then they found a whole fucking bunch of them and said, well, this isn't a planet. This is just the biggest one of a whole bunch of fucking asteroids. A whole asteroid belt. And they just did the yeah. same thing with Pluto, but there was like an 80-year gap in between. Huh. Or I'll was be it honest, 100 years? I don't know. I forget. I don't think... I mean, it's so far away from the sun that it, it's probably closer to 100 years. Because doesn't it take like Jupiter and Neptune and all Uranus? No, I meant, to... I meant gap in time between like discovery and demotion. Oh! Yeah, that one I don't know. I would think 30 years then. I was when thinking... You, you were talking about, you know, uh, left the pole. 1909. Yeah, so like... 100 years. Well, alright. Uh, good for Pluto. They made it 100 uh, years. Before, yeah, uh... I, they, they were doing it at the uh, the Lowell Observatory. The same place where they were looking for like the canals of Mars and stuff. Hmm. Okay. So th this was something I had written down. It, it doesn't pertain to Pluto, but it does pertain to the the idea of gravity and the cosmos itself. I wrote down uh, the gravitational attraction between matter caused the earliest structures to form in the universe after the Big Bang. Tiny fluctuations in density were amplified by the gravity across the galaxies and uh, galactic clusters. I love that when they put that in there. Uh, gravity drove the formation of the stars and planets as matter was pulled together by the mutual attraction. So I get I, I, the, the thing I was curious about, that statement right there, is it just, did Pluto have some kind of non-attractive material in it? So that's why it's on the farthest reaches of our galaxy? I zoned out for a minute. I was thinking about Pluto. What was the question? <laughs> so the question, right? Long time ago, gravity happens, blah, 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 Big Bang. Gravity and Big Bang with all the particles everywhere start to bring everything together, you know, because everything's attracted, you know. And my question to you is, is the reason why Pluto isn't closer to the sun because of the material in Pluto? Or is it because it has something to do entirely with, hey, you just got shit out of luck because you're in this location and not this location? Um, because a statement from earlier made me I, think that I'm, I'm, I took I'm pondering an it. astronomy class in college, actually, but I'm struggling to remember what the idea was broad strokes the idea was is that when you have like the solar system form you've got like the sun at the center and then like a huge disk of like dust and garbage and gas and stuff floating around it and it'll accrete and coalesce into stuff into into bigger and bigger stuff and into planets and all that but yeah. uh there's there's some kind of dance between temperature and gravity that kind of splits this disk into different zones where uh, stuff is going to form with certain characteristics. Like, I suppose gas wants to, you know, it follows gas laws. You know, it's less dense when it's hot, and it's denser when it's cooler, so... Uh, gas giants and stuff should form in the outer solar system where it's a bit colder and it can uh, get real dense. That I actually didn't know. I so, think that's how it works. Uh, I mean, let's just have an astronomer. I think, yeah, I think the, the gas giant stuff should form in the outer solar system and then migrate inwards. And that uh, the there's a, a weird band uh, where the uh, in the in the disk where the gravity of Mars and Jupiter fuck with each other, so that there's a whole bunch of garbage that collects there, but it can't coalesce in anything big 
or anything yeah. much bigger than like series. That's why we get the asteroid belt. How exactly like the Kuiper belt and the Oort cloud and stuff work? How do how do you have rocky stuff coalesce out there past uh, Neptune and stuff? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure anyone knows. Uh, but I don't know. I'd be uh, like, like there's always going to be a few crackpots who go like, "Oh, Planet Nine or Planet Ten or whatever." Like, "Oh, there's a there's another missing planet out there," and uh, 